in this video we'll cover how to perform a control test of the contour plus meter. I recommend you do this when you first get your machine and when opening a new pop test strips. The control test ensures your test strips are performing within the acceptable limits of your machine. The content of this video is put forth as entertainment purposes only and this creator makes no claims, promises or guarantees about the accuracy, completeness or adequacy of the procedures and instructions contained therein. The creator of this content expressly disclaims liability for errors and omissions that any viewers of this video might declare that exist in the information as presented. No liability exists or can be ascribed to this content creator in the event of any accident or injury that might occur as a result of improper application or understanding of the procedures and information contained in this video. If we look in the Contour Plus manual, you should conduct a control test when using your meter for the first time. You open a new bottle or package of test strips. You think your meter is not working properly. You have repeated unexpected blood test results. The test can be performed between the temperatures of 15 degrees and 35 degrees Celsius. Remember, only use the Contour Plus control solution. Now let's show you how to perform a control test. You need a clean, hard, dry surface. Here I'm using a mobile phone glass screen protector. You can use any clean, dry, hard surface. Your contour plus meter, your test strips, and the control solution. Ours here is marked with the letter N. If we take our test strips and make sure they are actually for our contour plus machine. Check the expiry date. If we look here on the side, it says control N, L, and H. In this instance, our control solution is N so we should get a reading between 6 and 7.8 millimoles per litre. Here we have our control solution, check the expiry date and ensure it is for the Contour Plus machine. Inside there is a detailed instruction leaflet which we're not going to cover today, so I would actually advise everybody read that also. Now let's get into the testing procedure. We need to gently shake the control solution first, then insert a glucose test strip into your meter. You'll see an icon on the display with a flashing blood drop. We open our control solution bottle and gently squeeze a drop out. Here I squeeze one drop out and then another drop and use the second. We will touch the window of the glucose test strip against the solution and the test strip should automatically take it up. Once we have done this there's a countdown from 5 to 1. Our reading is 6.9 millimoles per litre. If we look at the side of our pot, this reading is between 6 and 7.8 millimoles per litre, meaning our meter and strips are working correctly. We then discard our test strip. We are done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.